hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm prv in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to draft a 12 panel jacket with short collar all right in this tutorial the first thing we want to do is to transfer our basic bodies block to another pattern paper which i have done so if you are new on this channel and you have not watched our video tutorial on the basic bodies block full scale I'll drop the link in the description box so you can go ahead and watch so that you can follow this tutorial perfectly. Now, after transferring the basic bodies block, the sloper, to another pattern paper, why doing that? You should create a margin of 4 inch. Okay, this is my center front. This is my center back. Okay. Before the center front, create a margin of about 4 inch, 4 inch, alright. So, this will give us room to create our collar. Now, this is our shoulder line. Also, above the shoulder line, you should be having a space of about six, 5 to 6 inch above the shoulder line. Okay, this will give us the room to create the height of our short collar. Okay, that part that will be attached to the back neckline and also for the width of the collar. So, having said that, let's move to our pattern paper and start work. First, let us go ahead and create our collar here. All right, from the shoulder line on the extended part where I have the four inch extension. Okay, from the shoulder line, come down by three inch. So I'll mark three inch on my extension parts. And also from the end of the neckline depth, come down by three inch as well. All right. Now, from the end of the neckline width here, make a slanted line extending this shoulder line up here and connecting it to our three inch that we have just measured. Okay, so from the end of the neckline width, so I'll be connecting to this three inch that we marked and then I will extend this above the shoulder line, like so. I hope you can see that. Now connect these two points. The three inch that we earlier marked here, connect it to this. Like so. Here is our break point for the collar. This is dependent on you. It depends on the depth you want. It can come down about 4 inch from the end of the neckline depth. And you can make it higher. It depends on you anyway. Alright. So now we want to create the width of our collar. But before doing that, here on this slanted line, above the shoulder line, we are creating the neckline for the back okay because this part will be attached to the back neckline so we'll come to our back block and take measurement of the neckline like so so here i have 3.5 inch so i'll come to this line and mark 3.5 inch from the shoulder line All right, so this is my 3.5 inch. From that point, I will mark a distance of 5 inch. That is the width of the collar. So this is my 5 inch. And then I will square across. But I'll make sure that this line is slanted and not straight. Okay, you can see the way I place my ruler. Not like this, but like so. Just make sure you... Are careful 
about that. So it's slanted up. So this is the width of my collar. All right, now connect this point, this five inch that we have just marked. Okay, the width of the collar here. I'm trying to, okay. So connect it to the three inch that we earlier marked here. Like so. So I'm connecting the two points here. I hope you can see that. You can also use your curve ruler for this end to make it a bit curved, okay? This slanted line, but I'm leaving mine like this. Now, after creating, so this is our collar. After creating the collar, let's move to the bodies. First, we are going to connect the midpoint of the armhole to the boss point with a curve. That is our princess dart line. The armhole princess dart line. So I'll connect the midpoint of the armhole with my curve ruler to the boss point, like so. I hope you can see that. I will do the same for the back. But here on the back, I'm going to connect the midpoint of the armhole to one inch below the chest line, okay? Like so. I'm connecting it to one inch below the chest line. That point where our dart stopped. Okay. All right. So after doing that, we we'll move ahead to the. So here on the back bodies, we are done with our back bodies is just to create the armhole princess dart line and that is fixed for the back. So we we'll move to our front bodies. Here from the midpoint of the armhole come down we are trying to contour the armhole here. So here you can contour by one inch or by 1.5 inch but here I'll be marking one inch from the midpoint. Okay, so from the one inch that I have marked on the armhole, extend that point by one inch. If you have come down by 1.5, you are going to extend it by 1.5 as well. So I'm extending mine by one inch because there will be shortage here after contouring. So extend it by one inch and then connect this one inch extension to this one inch contoured dart to the boss point, blending it to the previous curve, okay? So I'm connecting, that means I'm extending the one inch contoured dart by one inch on the armhole and connecting it to the boss point like so. All right, now blend the extended armhole to the actual armhole, like so. Okay, so after doing that, we'll come to the under bust and contour the under bust as well. So on the under bust, my measurement is, this is my under bust. The measurement for the under bust, my under bust circumference is 29, okay? Divided by four will be seven 
0.25. So I'll take measurement of what I have here on the under bust. Here I have 8.75. Okay. Now 8.75 minus 7.25. That will give me an excess of 1.5 inch. So the 1.5 inch, I'm going to take an excess on this end. So I'll take one inch here from the actual dart line, the waist dart. From that, the end of the waist dart, I'll mark one inch on this end and 0 0.5 inch on this end. So I have successfully contoured the under bust. All right. So I'll connect this to the dart leg, this to the dart leg, and then to the bust point, this one here to the bust point and here to the bust point. With my curve ruler, I'll place this and blend it to the bust point. Make sure you have a perfect curve there. It shouldn't be sharp or slanted, okay? I hope you can see that. Now I'm doing the same thing on this end. All right. And then I'll connect the two points to the dart leg. So after successfully contouring, make sure you don't have any sharp edge on your dart. So make sure you don't have any sharp edge. Make sure you don't have any sharp edge. So blend it. All right. I'm trying to blend, okay? So there will be no sharp edges. Okay, so that is our armhole princess dart and we have successfully contoured the under bust as well. Now we'll go ahead and close our bust dart. Before we can do that, we have to open up the waist dart. For us to be able to work with the front bodies, so I'll be Separating the back bodies from the front bodies now. So we can have room, enough room to work on the front bodies. So I'm separating the back bodies now. And then I'll cut it out. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up with the back bodies. Here is my back bodies. All right, so create the panel on the back bodies. After cutting out the bodies on the side, this is the center back, remember? So on the side piece, we are going to divide, you know, this is the side piece. Here is the side piece. Or maybe I should just cut it out so there won't be confusion there. So we cut out the dart. Okay. So I'm just going to cut out the dart now. So after cutting out the dart, this is what we have for the back bodies. This is the center back and this is the side back. On the side back, we're going to divide each of this point. This is our chest line, this is the waistline, and this is the hem, okay? So on the chest line, 
we are done with the center back this is the center back okay so on the chest line divide whatever you have there by two divide it into two equal halves so here i have five inch i'll divide i'll mark the midpoint which is 2.5 here i have four inch i'll mark two inch for the midpoint and here on the hem i have six inch so i'll mark three for the midpoint so i'll connect each of these points all right with my curve ruler so i'll connect each of the points connect this to this and then to this I need to change my marker, please. So after connecting those points, come to the armhole, our armhole, and also divide what you have there. Measure what you have there and divide it into two equal halves. Okay, so I'm going to mark. Can we see? Let me turn it this way so you can see what I'm doing. So you measure what you have on the armhole like this. All right. And then you mark the midpoint. So here I'm having 4.75. So I'll mark the midpoint of that measurement. After marking the midpoint of the measurement you have on the armhole, connect it to the chest line measurement. Okay, this one we have marked here. So I'll just pick my coverilla and connect that here. Make sure you don't have any sharp edge there. So, I will slash this. I'm going to separate this. So, we're having two pieces here. And then, this is the center back. So, we have one, two, three. So, this is our one. This is two. And this is three. Okay, so we have three. Remember, we'll be cutting two pieces for each of this. We'll cut two of this, two of this, two of this. But we are still going to extend the hem all right but let's go ahead and cut this all right here are the pieces for the back bodies we are still going to extend the hem like I said, but let's put this aside and work on the front bodies. All right, to close the bust dart, we have to slash the waist dart. Okay, you slash the waist dart to the bust point, okay, like so. And then close the bust dart. I'll secure this with my masking tape. Okay. So now after closing the boss that blend the side measurement. In case there is a shift there, so you blend it up. So we'll be cutting out our dart on this as well. So I'll go ahead and cut out the dart. After cutting out the dart, go ahead and cut out the other part of the bodies. Cut the shoulder, cut the collar,
So here is our center front and this is the side front. I hope you can see that. Now, we'll move ahead and do what we have done on the back bodies, dividing this side piece into two equal halves. So, so pick the side piece on the armhole, measure what you have there and divide it into two equal halves. On the underbust, measure what you have there, divide it into two equal halves. On the waist, measure what you have there, divide it into two equal halves. Then on the hem, measure what you have there and divide it into two equal halves as well. Connect each point that we have just measured with your curve ruler. I'm connecting that of the underboss to the armhole. With my covula. And then to the waist. and down to the hem. All right, so we are having this and I'll cut this out as well. So after marking your measurement on the side piece, Go ahead and cut it and then you label it. This is my one. Okay, this is two and this is three. And then I'll still go ahead and label it. This is side front. So that you won't mix it up. This is side front. And then this is center front. All right, although it's very obvious, but you can mistakenly take this third piece for the back because this one and that of the back look alike, okay? So label it and then we move ahead to our extension. So we are going to extend from the waistline on the hem, we are going to extend this hem to form a six panels, okay? We are going to extend each of this piece. Now, you know, you can see this is three pieces. We have three pieces for the back too. So these three represent six for front. You, you know, we'll be cutting two of this, two of this, and two of this. So six for front and six for back, all right? So I'll pick my brown paper and pick each piece each piece and this is my center front so from the hem i'll place the hem making sure that it is equal to the end of my pattern paper okay what i want to do is to extend the two sides okay so I'm leaving a space that can be enough for my extension. Okay, this extension is dependent on you, how full you want the hem to be. All right, so here I'll be using three inch for each piece. You can be 2.5, okay? It can be 2.5, it can be three inch. So I'm going to gum this to this brown paper. All right, so I've gone ahead to gum each piece on my brown paper. So this is my center front. This is the side front. This is the second side front, okay? So these are the pieces for the front bodies, okay? So on the hem, like I said, you can extend by 2.5 or 3 inch. So I'll be using 
So I'm extending at the hem, I'll mark 2.5 from the end of my paper here, from the end of the white paper. Okay, from the end of my pattern, I'll mark 2.5 inch distance and then also on this end, 2.5. All right, then I'll connect this to the waist, the waistline, like so. so I'm, I'll connect the two ends to the waistline. So this is our new pattern. I'll be cutting this out. The same thing I'll do here. I'll mark 2.5 inch distance on, on both ends. And then I'll connect to the waistline. I'll do the same thing on the third piece. And then I'll do exactly what I have done on this front pieces. I'll do the same on the back bodies. So, we are going to extend the hem of our three pieces for the back bodies as well you can see this is three pieces but at the long run we'll be having six pieces because we'll be cutting two of each of this piece the same thing for the back bodies so now that i have extended i hope you can see that let me adjust it you can see my extension this is the side piece the side front, these two side fronts, you can see. And also, this is the center front. So I'll be cutting out this now. So here are my cutout pieces for the front bodies. So this is how it looks. The same thing I have done on each piece for the front bodies is what I'll be doing on the back bodies, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that, then I'll show you. All right, so these are my back pieces. Remember, for each of this piece, we'll be cutting two. This is the center back. These are the two side back. Like I said, you need to label it, okay? So we'll be cutting two of each of this. Two of this, two of this, two of this, and it will make six pieces for front and six pieces for back. So that will be the end of our tutorial for today. In our next tutorial, we'll be putting all these pieces together. That means we'll be sewing this jacket. I'm sure you don't want to miss out on this tutorial. So if, if you are new on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly hit on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell in order to get notification of our newly uploaded videos once again i'm prv thanks for being part of this tutorial see you in our next class bye